Well, Kane, first of all, um, good news. I believe there's a, there's a new contract to, to the end of the season. How pleased are you to, to sort that all out? Yeah, I'm delighted to finally get it sorted out. I um, uh, can't wait to just push on now and hopefully we can just go on for promotion. Yeah, how, how much have you, you enjoyed coming to, to Tranmere in the relatively short time you've been here? No, I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, all the boys here that have been brilliant. Uh, the facilities have been brilliant. and uh, Just the results haven't always gone our way. But um, hopefully things start to change. Like we went on a run, um, I think it was eight unbeaten. So it just shows you what we can do when we all come together. So hopefully we just need to get back to what we was playing like before. Yeah, because if you look at the league table, you, you, you're kind of sort of in the middle. But with a run like that, you can quickly get back up towards those playoff places. That's got to be the target, hasn't it now? Oh, so tight up there. I think it's maybe we're like 10 points off, like first or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, and obviously in this league, three teams go up automatic and one goes up through playoffs. So there's a lot of opportunity to go up in this league. So yeah, one run and, and be right up there. On paper, you, you look at where Stevenage are, your opponents at the weekend. They're third from bottom. I think they've won the last couple of games. Um, but it's, it's difficult to judge quite how strong any team is at the moment for all the various reasons that we know about. No, of course, um, I think this year has been a strange year. Obviously, with no fans, it's completely different. Teams that teams that don't normally perform might be performing better, and obviously, COVID is hitting certain teams where players might be not like the best players might be out and stuff like that. So you can't judge like who you're playing this year. So it's a, yeah, we just got to turn up with the same mentality and just go to win every game now. And as, as a forward yourself, Kane, I mean, uh, there's been a lot of talk about players having to, to rein in any celebrations, you know, because of COVID and keep everything safe. How, how, how difficult is that as a, as a striker? You know, when, it, when the ball goes in the back of the net, you want to celebrate, but you, you, you can't maybe go as far as you used to. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a very weird feeling. Obviously, normally you've got the fans to, to celebrate with, but you just run into an empty crowd. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just a weird one. Yeah, is that, is that something the players talk about? I know you've got to focus on, on the football, but have you got to take into account everything else as well? How difficult is that? I feel like if you do certain celebrations that you might have done when the crowd was there, you, get, um, you might get a bandit a bit for it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you just got to be careful how you celebrate. Thanks very much, Kane. Cheers. Kane, um, it was a really impressive performance from Tramir last night. It's when, when you're playing against a Premier League under-21 side, it's... It, I, to me, it's quite hard to to gauge where a League Two side should be against that level of opposition. Um, but it was certainly a different dynamic to some of the teams that have been to Prenton Park recently. But would you is it fair to say it was probably one of Tramier's best performances uh, in the last couple of months? Yeah, it was. Um, we scored four goals as well. Uh, I thought everyone played well, considering there's a lot of players missing as well. Um, I think everyone stepped up, and I think it showed that the squad like it's, it's got strength and number. And um, it's not strength in number, strength in depth. And you can see how strong the whole squad is. Um, Danny Lloyd has come, scored two goals. Morgan scored. Corey scored. Like, it's a very good performance all over. Uh, for yourself personally, you, you, you know, you, you had to be a bit patient at the start, really, hadn't you? To bide your time before you could get a, a place in the side. But you, and you are, you are competing against uh, some other good players there. For a start and birth, the likes of Blackett Taylor and Danny Lloyd, and is is that is that sort of driving you on to higher standards? The, the all of you, of course, it's always good to have competition in like the same place, and like, it's very good on the competitions, like very good as well. You know what I'm saying? So it makes you want to do better. So yeah, training's been very good, um, but the thing is, we all get on, so there's no bad blood. Like whoever's starting, we're all wishing, we're all wishing each other well. You know. Um. Do you think the performance against Barnsley was kind of taken into that game last night? I know you had a couple of chances yourself that you might have put uh, put you in the headlines if you'd been able to put them away. But do you think there was a lot of positives to take out of that game? And, and do you think that that um, FA Cup matchup with Barnsley was was a real benefit going into the Leicester match? I think it was, to be fair. Um, it was a chance to try new things. Like, obviously, the gaffer changed the formation and stuff. Um, but I think everyone's forgetting that they're a championship team and they're they're going for it this season again. Like they're not near the bottom. Like I think they're at like mid table, and I think they're on a run of games right now. So it just shows you we have actually put in a good uh, performance. And I thought we held our ground. Obviously it was two 0 but they got a penny in the last minute. So uh, we had a few good chances. Warney could have scored. I could have scored too. 
Um, so yeah, on another day we scored and we might have won that game and then everyone's talking differently, do you know what I mean? And of course, um, going into Stevenage, it, 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 you've still got a lot of players missing with this COVID situation. It, it's, are, you, are we looking at the sort of the same group of players, do you think? And and is, how important is it to be able to rest your legs? Because there's a lot of running that was done against Barnsley and it's the same again um, um, last night against Leicester. I think Keith was saying uh, Danny Lloyd's race was run after 60 minutes, but he had not, he put a hell of a shift in it. It's, it's all about managing your body at the moment. Of course. I feel like the gaffer's trying to get it into us in training. So the intensity is a lot higher. Um, so when we, when we actually do play games, it can last longer and stuff like that. So I think that's how the gaffer's trying to cope with it all. Um, but yeah, obviously we're going to have Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday now for a while. So um, I think the squad's going to get used and everyone's going to be relied on. Obviously he's not been able to bring any new players in yet, but is this starting to feel more like his team now? Because of course he came in in quite an unusual situation. Normally when a, 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 a new manager comes in, he's coming into a losing team and that wasn't the case of course because you've been on that great run already, haven't you? Yeah, I feel like it's took him a while obviously because he was on that running running uh, spree, like you just said, I think it was eight unbeaten again. Um, so obviously he couldn't really change too much at the time because there was nothing really to change. But I feel like he's adding his own little bits in now. Um, and I think you might be seeing a little difference. Um, he expects us to run a lot harder. I know that that's something he wants. Um, and I think you can see that now in the performances. Everyone's working hard for each other. Even though the results ain't going our way, everyone's still working and running to that last whistle. Yeah, there's been no shortage of effort, has there? But the, I suppose some players are being asked to do roles that aren't necessarily natural to them. You ended up with Kieran Morris at left back and Otis Khan at right back last night was a bit of a surprise. But it, it's shown that you've got to be adaptable in this environment, haven't you? Of course, because you never like. I don't think like no one can say who's going to get like injuries, coronavirus at the moment. So I feel like anyone could be playing. Anyone anyway, could be playing goalie next week. You never know, like. <laughs> You, are you able to set any real targets for yourself at the moment in terms of goal scorings or, or assists, or is it just a case of managing the team as best as you can on a on a day or a day to day basis? Really, I suppose. As in personal bonuses. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would just like to get in the team, to be honest, and then I'll just take it from there. Like, just that's my goal, just to get into the team first of all, and obviously help when I can, and then hopefully the rest will fall in place. <laughs> 